Okay, this artwork is by Piet Mondrian. He is a Dutch painter who specializes in non-objective art. He started the De Steel movement. Um, non-objective art refers to art that does not have any apparent reference to reality. So there's no apparent subject matter. Um, it's all based on the elements and principles of art. So we're looking at the line quality, the shape, the f value, form, texture, space, color, and the principles of art, which are contrast, rhythm, balance, movement, emphasis, unity, and pattern. So one of the first things I want to talk about are, is the color use. What colors do you see um, that Piet Mondrian uses? We have a white background, we have red, yellow, and blue. Those three colors, red, yellow, and blue, what kind of colors does that describe? They are primary colors. So primary means that no two colors can make up that color. No two colors can make up red, blue, or yellow. Um, line quality, what types of lines do you see? Are they curved? Are they straight? Are these exact? They're straight lines. Straight lines that go up and down. A line that goes up and down is called a vertical line. There's also horizontal lines that go right across the painting. There's also parallel lines, lines that are run right next to each other in the painting. Several parallel lines, perpendicular lines, lines that intersect. Okay, there's also a rhythm in this painting. There's a small yellow box next to a red box next to a big yellow box, blue, yellow. There seems to be a pattern, a rhythm. Just like beats in a song, there's beats in, in this painting. Um, the shapes in this painting, there's no circles or triangles or, or trapezoids, they're all rectangular shapes and squares. There's shapes inside shapes, squares inside squares, um, squares inside of rectangles, um, big rectangles, big white boxes. Um, there's positive and negative shapes, so the positive would be the color shapes, the negative space in the background is the background color, the white. Um, this painting is an abstract painting because it stresses the importance of the elements and principles of art rather than the subject matter. Abstract artists select and then exaggerate or simplify the forms suggested by the world around them. Without me telling you the title of this painting, what do you think this painting is about? Some people think that this painting looks like Maybe a game, um, like a Tetris game where boxes fit inside of other boxes. It looks like streets, Legos, Tetris, a blueprint. Okay, so some of these answers were kind of right on the mark. Um, it does look like a blueprint of some sort in streets um, because of these little boxes that c might represent cars on a street these bigger rectangles might be buildings and the title of this work is Broadway Boogie Woogie um, so it's about New York the New York scene so these could be lights um, street lights cars buildings so with his patterns um, and colors really bright popping colors it could you kind of get a sense of movement um, of city traffic um, things kind of bustling around uh, on a busy street like Broadway.